I'm gonna blow everybody's mind this next year. I'm really, really excited to show everything that I have. Hey, it's Landon Barker, and this is Billboard News. Hey, it's Tetris with Billboard News, and I'm hanging out with Landon Barker. Let's talk about your debut single. What was the inspiration by the song? I feel like that title is real. It's got some drama behind it. <laughs> friends yeah. with your ex. I was friends with your ex. You were with them when we met. It's kind of about falling in love with somebody you're not supposed to, but still seeing things through and having a good outcome. This is your first debut single. How was it to like kind of go from a personal experience versus being like, I don't want people in my business kind of a way? The story behind the song is I was in a session and it was somebody that I work with often. He was like, dude, I feel like you keep on writing songs about the same thing. Why don't we incorporate something that's actually happening in your life? Because I would always shoot to like a song about heartbreak or a song about a girl or a song about being sad or whatever it is, like just like very like repetitive topics. He actually was like, let's dive in and let's write something about your life right now. And that's kind of how that came down. I close my eyes and I see you. And talking about mirroring your life, your boo, Charlie, is in the music video. So what's yes. the reaction been like to like the song and the music video and you guys being together like that? Um, it's honestly been pretty good. I've been on like TikTok watching it. There's like little clips going around. People are like, what movie is this from? <laughs> so I'm like, damn. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited about it. And she's doing music too. Do you guys think you ever do music together? I don't know, honestly. Maybe in the future. Well, it sounds like the fans online would want to see you guys work together. Yeah. And how is it to start to carve your lane as an artist and create your sound? Honestly, it's, it's amazing. And especially all the stuff that I have saved up for everybody and like all the stuff in the vault. I love that you say all the stuff in the vault. So you've been working yeah. at this a while. I'm glad I got this one out, but I'm excited to share so much. And what's the creative process been like? Like, is your dad involved? I mean, obviously having a legendary rock icon as a father, I'm sure he's got to give you some advice on the music as well. I definitely shoot for his advice whenever I can get it, you know? And I trust it a lot, and I admire his advice a lot. Has he worked on some of the tracks with you? He, yeah, he, he uh, co-produced Friends of Your Ex. Do you feel like he's proud of this whole like transition for you and music and being signed? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, I, I'd hope so. What's the dynamic like when you're being creative, but also you know having fam like the the dad dynamic is obviously different than the creative dynamic. So how do you kind of balance being creative versus also being like this is a family thing? If I was talking to somebody else that was a part of my team and they didn't like the song, they would let me down easy. Like. I feel like he doesn't let me down easy. It's good, I still appreciate it because I, I love like authenticity and I love the transparency. And he's always transparent with me and supportive. So honestly, uh, it, it works, it works very well. What would your goals be moving forward? Like, are you ready to drop the full album? Are we gonna see a tour from you? What, what, what's coming next for Landon? I don't know yet, We're, we'll, we'll have to see. But a lot, definitely a lot. And do you feel like you have pressure or are you just taking it as it goes? I'm kind of taking it as a goes because I might look back at this music five years from now and hate what I did now. You know what I mean? So I'm not like putting too much pressure on myself and I'm letting myself grow as a musician naturally, just how anybody else would, even though I have a lot of eyes on me. I mean, you do have a lot of eyes on you and you've kind of lived a lot of your life in front of a camera. Yeah. So what's that process like? Even Charlie, she's had reality shows, you. Right. And then Courtney, obviously you're about to have a baby brother. Right. So what's that gonna be like in living out your music and your personal life in front of cameras? I feel like it's all about balance, you know what I mean? The times that I appreciate most with my family and, and friends and loved ones are most of the time the ones that are when the camera's not around, you know? So a little bit of balance of, of both, and it's also awesome and such a cool opportunity to be in front of cameras. Really, yeah, just balance. Are you ready for big bro duties? <laughs> He's I'm like, not, I got I, enough I, on my plate. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm not responsible enough for kids yet, but they're for love and support. Listen, you need the loving and supporting family. They don't always have yeah. to do the babysitting. But what do you want people to know about you as an artist before we get out of here? Like, what should people expect from Landon? I'm gonna blow everybody's mind this next year. 
I'm really, really excited to show everything that I have. Well, we're excited to see your journey, and thanks for starting it here at Billboard. Thank you. Thank you.